Good Thursday afternoon to you. The Velka weather hazard sub alert will continue in effect through 5 p.m. We're seeing a band of showers and thunderstorms. The strongest thunderstorms appear with the most lightning. Generally, uh, the areas around Rutland County and then south into a little bit west of Bennington, this looks to be the uh, most active part of this particular line that's moving on through. Um, other areas, uh, there was one report of some uh, damaging winds, uh, some trees apparently down in the vicinity of Shelburne. And uh, this is looking sort of uh, to the northwest of uh, the Waitsfield area. Nothing spectacular there. Let's take a look at the uh, lightning product. And this is a real-time lightning. Most uh, lightning activity appears to be, um, again, just getting ready to move into the Bennington area. And you can see roughly along this line uh, some embedded thunderstorm activity within an area of rain showers. Not as much going on across uh, portions of northern Vermont. Looking at a little bit closer details here uh, with the current activity, we can see where there was a little bit of older activity up in north associated with that uh, one isolated cell within a broad area of rain showers. And this is an area here uh, west of Bennington County seems to be most active. There was uh, most recently a little bit of thunderstorm activity, some uh, lightning strikes here in the vicinity of Rutland and then back into a little bit south of the uh, Barry Montpelier area. This is, looks like it's going to be taking a track uh, across Vermont like that, perhaps arriving White River Junction, Connecticut River Valley uh, vicinity, and uh, maybe southern Orange County. And I think Wyndham County is probably the most prone for any uh, strong thunderstorms uh, over time here with this uh, the southerly area is a little bit more prone as it looks right now. And taking a look at the HRRR model, kind of give you an idea here. We'll start here. This is uh, valid at 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, and by 5 o'clock, most of the activity has moved on through. There could be some trailing showers, maybe an isolated thunderstorm, but it looks like things will be moving on out pretty rapidly. And taking a look at the current SPC products, uh, this is CAPE. Uh, we're up to about 2,000 joules per kilogram, a little bit southwest of Bennington. So this area bodes probably one of the better areas for uh, the strongest thunderstorm activity. So Bennington and Wyndham counties, perhaps up in the Windsor County, could be a little bit under the gun here. We are starting to see um, a little bit stronger bulk shear aloft and uh, up about 30 knots, which was forecast. And then we see back here where the frontal boundary is uh, starting to produce uh, dry, stable air in this blue dashed area here. This will be working in a little bit later today and certainly through the evening hours. The Velka Weather Hazard Sub Alert will expire at 5 p.m. Roger Hill, Weather Heights.